He is banging on the shared wall as if a message to me. He is opening the door to shared hallway space as if listening to me. I text her, she doesn't answer. I retrieve my bat and cock my piece. Will not hide it, no qualms about calling the police. Stereo blasting, bass boost on, I would be glad to give him something to listen to. Disturbed is down with the sickness. Drowning pool is letting the bodies hit the floor. And DMX has one more road to cross. Soaking the sounds, absorbing the anger, hate feeling helpless, I know she's in danger. Every 37 seconds, a pothead goes to jail. He beats her severely, tells the judge F you, and is still allowed to make bail. Mm. Where there is love, there is no darkness. And they cannot afford light bulbs. Blinded and toxic, his, his, his reality is irrational, and apparently so is hers. Running around in circles, expecting easy answers. Like honest politicians, they do not exist. Obvious imbalance, points completely missed. Both emotionally damaged prior to crossing paths, explosive when joined together, creating a painful shrapnel aftermath. He done messed up though, climbing onto my radar. My name is not Amy. His weak excuses and self-convincing lies are his everyday crutch. Keep looking at me like he want to put his hands on me and I promise to be the last woman he ever touch. If you must judge a man by the work of his hands, I call him damaged and reciprocated. Mm -hmm. Unemployed for being an ass requires no work. Facing your demons, now that's a job. Not telling me that you belong to some Texas penitentiary mob. I am not impressed, nor am I afraid. I'm mad as hell and ready to see her once again raise her window shades. If the pillar of the world is hope, I am carrying it on my shoulders. Thank you.